The other one I like to use a lot, um, it's called Versatiles. It is a brand name of an activity that can again be adapted for anything. They have pre-made books with pre-made problems for a variety of math topics. I think they do the same thing for science. Um, I usually make my own because I can never find a worksheet that's exactly what I want. Um, you have to have 12 problems exactly for this, 12 problems with answers. It doesn't have to be math, it can be any subject, it can be a word problem or a question with a single phrase or word answer. And so again, you have your problems. The problems are numbered 1 through 12, and then the answers have specific letters that go with them. And so in the pre-made book, you'll have 12 problems, and then answers A through L, and so each answer has a letter corresponding to it. It's kind of like matching. You work the problem, you find your answer at the bottom, and then that corresponds to a letter. So problem one might correspond to the answer with letter H. And then the students all have a set of what are called versatiles. And this is a big version of it. The students have a smaller version. You open it up. It's a little confusing at first, but the students really like it. It's a pattern game. And so they have number tiles, and they put the numbers 1 through 6 across the top. And make sure their numbers are oriented up. 1 through 6, and then 7 through 12 at the bottom. And the numbers stay oriented upwards. And so if they work problem 1, and they find out that that answer from the worksheet is letter H, they put the one tile on letter H facing in that same direction so it all stays facing up. Then they work problem two and they find that answer so it's like a card match. Um, and they just keep working through the problems. If they skip one, let's say they skip number six, that's okay, they can go back to it. They just keep working the problems and putting that number over the corresponding letter according to the bank at the bottom. So they just keep working. This is not going to make a pattern, but once they have all 12 problems worked and they've matched their numbers and their letters, they close the little versatile bank, they flip it upside down, and then open it again. And if they did all 12 problems correctly, it makes an actual pattern. The blues, the yellows, and the oranges all make a nice pattern. And so in the teacher version of the book, it shows you the answer at the bottom. You can make your own problems. I don't, like I said, I don't like to use the book's problems because they're not always what I need. But you just make a pattern first and then correspond the letter answers to the numbers so that it makes that particular pattern. Um, and the students really enjoy it. It's a different way to do just, again, just a plain old worksheet. Uh, but it gets them to interact a little bit more. They seem to care a little bit more and the energy level is a little bit higher in the room. Um, and I usually also have a recording sheet for them where they put the answer and the letter that goes with that answer so that that's kind of their proof that they've done their work and not just mooched off their neighbor. So that's just a couple things I do in my classroom just to mix it up a little bit. I usually use textbook problems or worksheets and just kind of modify them so the students are a little bit more active in the classroom.